So, as a uh, human, as a person who likes art, art in all forms, art like uh, paintings, music, poetry, stories, movies, cooking, dancing, with any myriad of uh, human expression. <clears throat> I guess there's a very s simple or basic principle for art, artistic endeavor. In any form of medium, um, there's like the tried and tested, the perhaps you can call it ordinary, but it's also just the, for example, in cooking, right, there's like the bread and the butter, the meat and the potatoes, right? Just like spaghetti, spaghetti and spaghetti sauce, or uh, rice balls, right? Just your staple. It might be ordinary, perhaps, but it's, you know, it's like comfort food, right? Same with uh, music as well. You know, there's like the tried and tested music. Like you would usually, it would be pop, pop music or folk which would be much more like cultural music right it's like the you can call it the ordinary you can call it the the tried and tested but it's that the foundation of um of music of arts of cooking of any way of expressing our humanity I think in art, uh, I'm not as much of a uh, expert in art. I know more, a little bit more about, or I have a little bit more experience in music and cooking. I'm not an expert in any of these, but in art, I would say the foundations would probably be realism or like making realistic paintings it's like the the standard the foundation of that of uh, painting uh, but then there's like a kind of gradient from ordinary art to art that's so weird that it you can't really it can't really even be considered art so for example in music there's pop music right very very popular very ordinary very you know, mainstream right and then maybe as a gradient for example you get to like jazz or you get the rock or metal right maybe a little bit more niche than pop a little bit but it's still pretty pretty popular and then you get to maybe heavy metal maybe you get to progressive rock maybe you get to edm maybe you get to uh, synthesized music uh, may and then you get a little bit more niche and a little bit more niche and a little bit more niche um <clears throat> i can't come up with examples off the top of my head there's stuff like math rock or stuff like uh, elevator music i guess but um within that gradient so there's a difference between music and pure like chaotic noise <clears throat> so when it comes to for, for example with music music is made up of noise but it's not just random noise right there's kind of like a like a feeling like an artistic feeling for music like if i that doesn't really it's just noise but it doesn't it, that, that i wouldn't uh it doesn't feel like music perhaps to an alien no it might be music perhaps but to us humans, right, that doesn't, that's not really music. It doesn't feel like music. <clears throat> Same with uh, paintings, right? 
paintings are made up of random, you know, not random, but uh, splotches of paint on a canvas. But it, uh, but a painting, but art is not just random splotches on a canvas, right? That it doesn't that doesn't feel like art. So there's like a whole gradient between total like uh, chaos, total chaos, just randomness, and very standard, ordinary structures. And then there's like a whole spectrum of what we what we like appreciate. Uh, and this also depends on experience too. Definitely, some things are. As you get further and further, uh, as your tastes get more and more refined, you get more and more, uh, you get more and more niche. You get more and more e- eccentric. <clears throat> but it always seems like art is always pushing that, the boundary between chaos, and order. To kind of sound like Jordan Peterson, <laughs> art is like uh, it's like walking the fine line between total, um, total structure. It's like something you can totally <clears throat> expect, and something that's totally unexpected. Total just randomness, chaos. It's walking the fine line between those two that makes it art. So art really feels like a bridge between our humanity and reality. That's what art really feels like. So, for example, when I ex- experience that like artistic, when some sort of art piece moves me uh, emotionally or spiritually, it really is that like um, transcendent experience. It's like when it all comes together, when it all clicks. So that's the beauty of art. And I do have to say, though, there is a... <clears throat> there's an interesting distinction between natural beauty and man-made beauty both are very beautiful um <clears throat> like the sistine chapel uh, this or the great pyramids of giza you know the great works of hum- mankind all of our stories our cultures traditions histories our mythologies, our architecture, our cooking, culinary skills, dancing, music. All of this is very beautiful. And also the natural world is pristinely beautiful. I can't even really put it into words. Mother Nature is truly a masterpiece. And it's interesting how there's like a a distinction between man-made art and natural art. But they both seem to come from the same sort of divine inspiration. You know, it's a common saying among artists uh, I know I felt it too where um, even though you're the one writing you're the one drawing you're the one cooking you're the one dancing even though you're the one doing the action you don't feel like you don't experience it as such right you experience it like you're observing that you're doing it right you're uh, basically it's natural right you you're not forcing yourself to do it, right? It's the Greeks called it the muses. Um, I think the Christians called it the divine spirit, divine inspiration. Uh, <clears throat> the Chinese called it the Tao, right? It's just 
what happens, right? There's no there's no activeness in it. Right? It just happens all of its own accord. And so nature is the same exact way. Right? The definition of nature is, well, it's natural. It just happens. And art is very similar indeed. It just happens. It, like it's... Uh, you don't even feel like you're doing it. <laughs> Some people, I, I guess scientifically, you can call it uh, peak state. Peak state or transcendent state. But it is very interesting how natural art and man-made art both have that same element. And so why I wanted to talk about art so much is art, culture, history, mythology so much is because I, I love it. I... I dig it. I dig both the the human connection that art creates as well as the the cosmic connection that it creates as well. Art really art really is the bridge between humanity and reality. It's the bridge between our, the, our subjective experience as, as people, as individuals, and the objective experience uh, of the whole entire universe. It's, it's bring it, bring it, <laughs> bringing it all together.